Happy Record Store Day 2019. Uh, I went to, I drove about an hour and 10 minutes, 15 minutes to Eugene, Oregon, where I, because there's no record stores where I live in Roseburg. Um, and I went to two record stores. The first one, um, uh, House of Records, and the other one is called Skips. I've never been to Skips before, but House of Records I've been to like fucking like six or seven times. It was, it's a, it's a cool place. It's a good place. Um, I would recommend it if you're ever in Eugene. Um, regardless, I got a lot of really fucking cool records. Some of them weren't record store day, um, because I got there at like, um, 9.50 and it opened at 10, the first place I went to. So like, by the time I got in, a lot of the stuff that I kind of wanted was gone, though I did get two records that I really, really was hoping to get, which is exciting. Um, and the rest of it is just stuff they had on sale, because they were just having like a general sale, um, or something like that, um, on like... 15% off like most stuff that wasn't like record store day stuff So I figured I'd get some other shit while I was there just because I came with more money um, That I expected, I expected to spend on record store day stuff, but like I only got I think I got four record store day releases, but anyway, let's get into it um, First thing I got is not what I imagined it would be. Oh, is everything gonna be reverse this whole fucking video? That sucks. Uh, so it's John Cage meets Sun Ra, <clears throat> like two of the most legendary avant-garde musicians like of all time. Um, and uh, it's actually a movie. I thought it was like a like just a forty-five, but it turns out it's a movie. I mean, there's like there's a forty-five in here with um, two songs that they made together because apparently they collaborated on two tracks. But then this is mostly just kind of like a documentary on a DVD, which fuck that sounds awesome. Um, it was like 20 bucks, which is what sucks, but like, fuck it, you know, I, I did, I expected it to cost like a 45, like I thought it was gonna be like 10 bucks, but I, after I got back to the, to the, to the car, I saw that it said $25 and I was like, oh God, oh fuck, but already spent the money. So where might I set these there? I hope that gives you a good shot. Okay. One of my favorite rap albums of 2019 so far, uh, up there with like Quelly Chris's guns, which I was also looking for and I didn't find is the illustrious ASAP Rock and Tobacco collaboration, Malibu fucking Ken. Look at this. God, I fucking love this album cover. It's so revolting. I remember, like, when this thing came out, like, when this album came out, I, like, didn't want to listen to it because the album cover looks so revolting. But now it's, like, my favorite aspect. His hair looks very shiny and blobulous on the back. Um, but, like, you can kind of see maybe. It's, like, it pops out a little bit, like... Um, like, like I can put my finger in like right there and it's like, I can get, it catches on like, on like part of it. it it's like, it like pops out and I think you can swap out like different eyes or something like that. I don't know. Um, anyway, this album fucking rules pop out wearable mask at the end of the video. I'm going to do that. Um, anyway, this is an incredible album. I think there's only like one song on it that I didn't think was like stellar. Like, I think I thought one plus one equals three was like, okay. And I think Save Our Ship is also okay, but the rest of it is like fucking stellar. Woo! I got a text notification. Um, so yeah, Malibu Ken, ASAP Rock and Tobacco. A fucking smacker of an album. This one I know absolutely zero about. Well, it's called, it's called Zero Seven, get it? Uh, but no, I actually don't know anything about this. I just saw, it was a record store day release. It's like $13 and it has a MF Doom feature. So I was like, yeah, I'll buy that. I, I'm wearing my FM Smooth hoodie. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Zero Seven. It's songs called A Home Alternative Mix and AA Somersault Danger Mouse Remix featuring MF Doom. So maybe it's like an extra um, Danger Doom verse that they decided to just put on something. Um, may as well get to these since I got there. Uh, I bought Death Grips. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Gabber. Oh my god, this is such a good EP. I actually got two of them. While I was standing in line, I was like... Well, first, so, like, I, I saw the first one I got. Like, there were, like, ten of us crowded around the fucking bin that had all the records already stuff. And I saw the first one, and I reached for it, and someone else grabbed it. I was like, okay, fine. And then I waited a second. There was another one. Someone else grabbed it, and I'm like, fuck. But then it got to the third one, and I reached for it, and this other dude reached for it, too. And I got there first, and he was like, oh, cool, you can have it. And the rest of the time I was standing there, every time I saw another one, I was like, yo, yo, And I pointed it to him, and then he would go for it, and someone else would get it. And then at the very end of going through that box, he grabbed the last one, and I was like, dude, hell yeah. And I gave him a high five. Uh, it was really fun. Um, 
but uh and then as i was leaving um somebody went up to the front table to pay and they had um they had one of them and i think they like got up there and have money or something because they just left it on the table because it was just left at the front table i was like fuck it i'll just buy both of them because i mean even if i don't give it to like a friend because i don't really have too many friends i think would want this maybe brian would want it um but he doesn't have a record player uh Fuck it, I could just sell this on Discogs probably in like a week or two and make some paper. But, uh, there's that. <clears throat> and there's the other one. I, I might even just leave it in the, in like the packaging and just save it for a while. Because, oh my god, look at that. The back art is fucking bananas. That was unintentional. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so two copies of Death Grips' Crouching Tiger Hidden Gabber. Um, this one I got from my friend Jack, the Weezer Teal album. I thought it was okay. Jack really likes it. Um, and I respect his opinion. We went to see them like last weekend. They were very good live. Um, I do think the No Scrubs cover on this is fucking sick. And I think the uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World is pretty sick. <clears throat> I think their Take On Me cover is like, eh. Obviously Africa is really, it's a slapper. I think Billie Jean is like, like borderline blackface. Like it, it it's, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. Uh, their Billie Jean cover, I'm not a fan of. But um, the rest of it, I think, is definitely, like, listenable. Definitely not, like, my favorite Weezer album by any, by any means. Okay. Oh, this is upside down. Bone Thugs and Harmonies, East 1999 Eternal. And it's, like, a first pressing. It's totally a blank album cover, which kind of sucks, but, like, also kind of cool. Um, wait, side D, is this, oh my god, it's four sides of music? Holy fuck, I thought it was only two. Limited edition, I got number 1322 out of 2000. Hmm, ain't that some shit. Yeah, that's exciting as fuck. That's really tight. Uh, here is a, I was so lucky to find this. Oh my god, I, I saw like five people in the store that had one. And they were all like about to check out. And then, because uh, I got there, like, kind of late. I got there, like, 19, at, like, 9.50, and the store opened at 10. So, like, the line was long as fuck. But by the time I went through all the boxes, I couldn't find any of these until, like, at the very end, I got one. Like, this is such a good fucking album, and the cover is so high res. I've seen, I've seen a vinyl copy of this before at, like, a used record store. It was, like, 50 bucks. And it was, like, a 10-year-old copy, like, pressing. But, like... The, it was like the cover wasn't nearly as high res as this. This is like really fucking nice looking. Like it doesn't translate that well on an iPhone camera, but it looks really slick. And the back art is really nice too. Um, the boys, beef heart and the boys. Um, but yeah, Trap Mask Replica, it needs no introduction. Everyone knows this album fucking slaps. Uh, into some other stuff that I bought just because like it was there and it was kind of on sale. I got Brian Eno's music for am airports. Ambient One, which, like, I've wanted for a really long time. I love Brian Eno so much. And, uh, I've been listening to this on my phone, or on my computer, for, like, a year. And I figured I'd finally fucking get the vinyl copy of it. Um, here's the lyrics, or something. I don't know, each one is listed with, like, a timestamp. That's really interesting. Maybe that's, like, uh, the, the pattern of, like, the synths that he uses. It's really fucking cool looking. Um, anyway. Ambient One Music for Airports. Fantastic album. Beck Odile. Fantastic album. Um, probably, I mean, you know, it's everyone's favorite Beck album, but it's also my favorite Beck album. Uh, songs like Derelict, like, just like, fuck, they just fuck. Like, Where It's At, obviously. Sissy Neck is such a banger. Hot Wax, I love, like, this is like a really fucking good album. Like, the production on this is so unique and strange. I'm really looking forward to my roommates just fucking hating me for the next two months until I move out. Uh, I got Lou Reed's Transformer. It's just a repress of it. I've been trying to find, like, an older copy of it for, like, a year, and I haven't found it, so I was like, fuck it. Uh, it was, like, it's $20, but I got, like, 15% off, so I don't know, some amount of money. There's this dude drinking, like, a 40 out of a paper bag over there. That's baller as fuck. Uh, I love Eugene. Eugene is great. Um, but, yeah, literary Transformer. Back art is really nice. Really fucking awesome album. Just a great album. Everyone knows Transformer's a good album. My other Brian Eno release that I got is his debut... Here come the warm jets. Holy fuck. If you believe art rock is a genre, this is its thesis, baby. This is a fucking slapper of an album. Like, this is such a good album. Um, yeah. Back art is also really nice. Yeah, I love... I'm a big Brian Eno fan. 
I think this would be my third or fourth Brian Eno release that I now have. Because I have his thing he did with David Byrne, Wrong Side Up. I have um, Low, obviously. Obviously. Uh, and I have ne I now I have this and I have Ambient One. So, my budding Eno collection. Uh, and here is the last release that I got. It's actually another Record Store Day release. Which I only got because... Um, I like while I was driving up, I, uh, I, I was watching a bunch of videos on people that were like talking about what they were going to get at record store day. And I don't remember if this was Fantano or like some other, I watched like five videos on the way up while I was driving very safe. Um, and this is one that like two of them recommended and I don't, I, I've like heard the name Roy Ayers before, but I really don't know anything. Exclusive rainbow starburst vinyl. What the fuck? Let's open this up. Fuck it. This video is already 10 minutes long. If you're still here. You deserve to see this 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 rainbow vinyl. Uh, drop a like, drop a comment, um, drop a fav, drop a uh, drop a Twitch Fortnite stream follow. Wow, I don't have a knife with me. Fuck. We have reached. We have reached peak right now. Yo, fuck me. Come on, come on, son. Come on, son. I was just driving home and I figured I'd say fuck it and park in the McDonald's parking lot and make a video. Cause like my roommates are, or my, my landlords are showing the house right now cause they're trying to sell it. Um, and they wanted us out of the house. So I was like, Hey, it's record store day. I may as well like go and drive an hour away since I have fucking nothing to do all day. I don't know anybody in town that would want to hang out. Dude, this is so impossible to open. I'm gonna open this. Yep. Live on YouTube. Opening this fucking packaging. Look, I had surgery on my hand. So like, I don't have any grip. Oh. oh. We've struck gold. Okay. Oh, download card, I think. Download card. Okay. Let's look at this shit. Because the cover is so, like, black and white and, like, kind of, like, monochrome looking. Oh, fuck. Okay, this looks straight. Holy shit. Holy shit. This looks fucking sick. Oh, my God. This is so dope. Oh my, oh my lord. This is so nice. I had no idea. Dude, this was like $18. Why is this so cheap? Where did they make this? This is so awesome. Holy shit. I bet this is going to sound incredible. Well, the, uh, the album is called Music of Many Colors. So I guess it makes sense. Side one is 2000 Blacks Got to Be Free. Produced by Roy Ayers and Fela Anikulapu Kuti. And composed and arranged by Cal Clay and Wayne Garfield. And then the other side is Africa, center of the world. Music of many colors. Wow. By Fila and Roy Ayers. This is awesome. Holy shit. I'm so glad I bought this. I was, I was I, like, I saw it. I was like, eh. I don't know either of these guys. I don't even know what genre this is. I'm assuming it's like, um, I think I think one of them says something was like Afrobeat or something like that. So like... Not a genre I've listened to much of, but holy shit, I'm so excited to go home and listen to this. And it sounds dope. I bet the video probably doesn't show it very well. I'm going to take like a proper picture with my digital camera, and then I'll upload that to Twitter and like reply to the post I send with this video. Anyway, um, I may as well, while I'm sitting here opening some of them, this video is already 14 minutes long, I may as well open one more. Uh, I want to get a look at this Malibu Ken vinyl. Because really, it's like, what am I waiting for? I got to wait till like 1 o'clock until I can even go home. So, I may as well just sit here and unbox, unpack. See, this took me like one second to open. Oh my god, this looks so gross. Whoa! Uh. <laughs> this is awesome. 
Well, I guess it's it's uh it's pretty fucking cool. Look at this shit. Look at the inside. Oh my lord. Oh, that is so gross. I'm gonna get taken down on YouTube for this. This is like gore. Yeah, look at that shit. Oh my god, this is so cool. And I think it's like a nice like blue pressing. Because I was looking at this online. I almost bought it um, when they released it, like an online uh, copy. I mean, it's like, it's a, it's, I don't know what I mean by online. I mean, like buy it online off their website. But I decided against it. But then I saw it in store and it looks so cool. Oh my God, that's really nice. That's really fucking nice. Dude, I'm a, I am a whore for colored vinyl. That maybe doing this in a car wasn't the smartest decision I ever made. But there have been no major mishaps so far. And then what is this? While we're in here, may as well. Is it just like a... Oh, it's like a lyric sheet. Nice. This is really nice. Something you should probably know before we go too far. My neighbor found a mushroom growing inside of my car. She called me up on tour, sending emotionally scarred, though it may have scared her more that I wasn't really alarmed. That's nice. I mean, it's kind of like small font, but he fucking says a lot. ASAP Rock likes to talk. He likes to fucking talk. And can we blame him? He says interesting things when he does talk. Uh, oh, there's another, there's another thing. Oh my God. What? What? It's like an actual wearable mask of it. What? It fucking pops out. This is tight as shit. This is tight. I'm gonna post a picture of myself on Twitter wearing this fucking thing when I get home. <laughs> That's dope. This is such a dope package. And there's a there's a download card. Understandably, it is the 21st century. I dropped it on the goddamn ground. It just got lost under the fucking mat. <laughs> I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> got stuck under the mat. <laughs> Okay, download card. Very basic. Looks nice though. That fucking weird like rotting flesh font. Very nice. Yeah, I'm saying this is like, an, this is incredible, incredible packaging. This is some of the best packaging I've seen all year. I mean like, this is some of the best packaging that I own. Let me put all of the stuff back in here so I can close it up. And this video is now 18 minutes long. If you actually suck it out through this whole thing, wow. You also have nothing going on on this Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool that I just bit Fantano's thing where he's like, oh, here's my new vinyl that I've collected recently. Um, but I do it in my car, so I kind of got a review bra angle. Something that I don't, it's a market I don't think Fantano has tapped into yet. It's getting caught on the download card. Yeah, it is. We gotta move that, huh? We gotta fucking move that, huh? But yeah, I'm really pleased with this uh, Malibu Ken packaging. It's very nice. I'm looking forward to listening to this masterpiece of the grotesque and and the vile. Because that's what it is. Okay, I should probably end this video. I'm just gonna sit here and fucking try to do this. I'm in a goddamn car. I can't get the proper angle. I can't, like... Oh, there you going? Okay. You know, we're just gonna keep the video rolling. This is real life. Most YouTubers would edit out this process, but I'm too real for that. Everyone that owns vinyl has been here. They've all been to this spot. Usually it isn't this hard, but it is a new, <laughs> it is a new package. So, oh, and, oh, finally. Slide these fuckers in there, and we will call it good.
Okay, well, thank you all for watching this uh, long video of me showing off some of the things that I spent all of my financial aid money on today. Uh, I didn't need any of this. This money could have gone to charity, uh, could have gone to the poor. This could have been donated directly to an orphan. But here I am, just wasting it, and then just really having a good time posting a video of it. So, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, I hope you all, if you do collect, I hope you had a good record store day, and if you do, if you fucking got something for record store day, comment it below, and if you're trying to buy that other copy of Crouch Tiger Hidden Gabber, Hit my DMs. It's like a hundred dollars. I'll do it for five hundred dollars. Ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. Put it at a hundred. We'll put it at a hundred. Thank you all for watching, and that's the end of the video.